Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm gonna take you on a brief tour of the 2023 Cedar Creek 380 RL, and I think you guys are gonna love it. It looks beautiful, and it's got one of the nicest bedrooms in the entire RV industry with this amazing little reading nook. That whole front cap right there, that place, is a window for views. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. If you're looking for the price and the specifications, you will find that down in the description. But if you guys got a moment, hit that like and subscribe button for me. I'm really trying to hit 75,000 here by the end of 2024. And if you guys like RV content, I think that'd be a pretty good uh, one-two punch. You subscribing? Me doing the talking, you doing the watching. <laughs> but anyway, it's the 2023 Cedar Creek 380 RL. And right when you walk in, Cedar Creek just does such a fantastic job with their decor. I like the 22s. I like the 23s even more. It is light and bright, but it's not too light and bright. You're broken up by a couple you know, different fixtures. The lighting fixture with that kind of the block wood look. You also have a flip up counter here from the island, the dark gray accents. It is just looking nice. This is new for 23, uh, having a more slender fixed, you know, island right there. The other one was a little bit fatter at the bottom, but this one also got thicker up top, which is nice for more countertop space. You also got plenty of storage there as well, but you're gonna have two main slides back here in this rear living, one for the seating, and then one for the cooking and the entertainment. You have one of the two, a dual combo. All three of these are insignia but it's the largest RV fridge in the industry and then the largest oven in the RV industry. And it is pretty darn snazzy. Feels fantastic in there. That just feels nice. I'll tell you, Texas, I'm down here at Funtown. Uh, I'll be here for another couple of days. I don't know how you Texans do it. I accidentally wore pants because it's 10 degrees in Cincinnati and I am just sweating, sweating, sweating. It is crazy. Beautiful backsplash here with the outlets. I love that right there. And then the solid surface countertops also look really nice. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. But again, the industry's largest oven. You got the four stovetop burner to whip up all the fixings. I mean, check that out. You can cook a turkey in that thing. And then you have the matching insignia microwave. So I really like the fact that they're keeping it all in the same family. Good storage all up and above. And then here below, you also get three pull-out drawers. The bottom two are going to be twice as large. And then over on this side, the same pull-out drawer you just saw. But this is all one big kind of open area, you know, with that one shelf. Flip it around here, and you have your island. Again, it got a little bit wider, a little bit more cooking space, a little bit more usable prepping area. Dual stainless steel undermounted bowl right here with the high-rise faucet. Hitting those dishes from all angles. You also have the old drying rack, access to your plumbing, and some pretty clean cut storage. And then you get four more pull out drawers here too. And this one's got a little thing uh, for your utensils. I don't know what they call that, but it looks really nice and I like that wood block. The accent lighting above the slides looking really nice. They also use a flush mount slide, so it's gonna be even with the floor. Vinyl woven material, not the carpet. Table for two right now, but you can set it up for four. So you see that little part right here that actually does come out and extend. Massive windows on the Cedar Creek, so I love that. They all open up for a nice breeze as well. You also got this cool little lighting picture, kind of with like the old chicken wire look going across it. But every window is, like I said, tinted, but it also comes with the old day and night shade. You know, the half Dracula and the full Dracula. Stop the old skin from sizzling by blocking out the sun. You know, do your thing there. USB and Universal C, they have manual controls for every lighting system, uh, but you can use the control panel, which is right there. I'll show you that here in a second. But anytime you see this little up and down arrow, it's because that means it's on a dimmer. So you can sit there and you can hold it. And it dims down, so you can kind of set the, uh, the mood how you want. And then, of course, you know, you can hold it again. And, uh, oh, I wasn't even done yet. And then you can make it, you know, as bright as you want. But... Pretty nice feature to have. I like the fact that Cedar Creek does that. One of the few brands that does that as well. That's up there with like your Riverstones, your Mobile Suites, you know, your Redwoods, you know, things of that nature. So they're starting to get, you know, into that class for sure. Um, you have two stainless steel cup holders on your recliners that lay down really nice and flat. So you can take a snoozer if you want. And then here are your controls for that too, along with the USB port. This is going to be the view you get from sitting. 
And man, that feels good. I've been walking around on a gravel lot all day, going a little bit crazy, but uh, whew, it's a good looking view and they're super, super comfortable. So right over here, you have a sofa and you notice that it's in the three sections. It's also gonna be a tri-fold. So the bed will come out to right about there, just for enough squeak through room between the island. So if you wanna have the occasional you know, guest or the grandkids, uh, you're more than able to do that. You also have outlets on both sides as well. And then again, three more windows with the side one being an emergency exit. So pull, push and plop, uh, you can get out in a hurry. Both of these lights do turn on. You got some overhead storage. It's a little far up there. So I'm probably putting, you know, like blankets or something like that up there. But I also like how they put in the little glass insert. And this is all, you know, an actual wood there too. So flip it around. We've already seen the refrigerator and the oven. Now you have your TV with your fireplace, and I love how that looks. It also doubles up as kind of a you know shelf, you know, for your stuff. This is going to be on a swivel again, an Insignia TV, and you notice this little latch right here. It's because you can open it up into some extra kind of hidden storage. You know, you can put board games, blankets. I'm going books right there. You know, my wife, she is a she is a reader, so I'm sure that would be all over the place. She's hooked on that, uh, I think it's Kathleen Hoover, which I actually read the book Verity. Uh, I do recommend you guys check that out if you're, uh, if you're into that real twisted story, man. It's, it's pretty wild. So you got a little fantastic fan up here, help you suck up the steam or stink, keep the air flowing. You also have a little area where you can hang up, you know, a couple jackets and a little bench where you can tie your shoes or possibly even put your shoes underneath it. A fuse box. More storage with the friendly little octopus guys. Hello. And then you have your solar charge controller. More storage. And then this is gonna be your Vega Touch, uh, your Myra app, or you can download it on your phone. It's called Firefly. But this is gonna be all the controls for your lighting. Again, those arrows up and down mean you can dim it up or down. You also got control of your HVAC system. So if you want your bedroom and your living room at a different temperature, you're able to do that. Uh, that's probably the reason why I am kind of roasting up right now. It's floating between 85 and 86. You also have uh, your furnace control and then, you know, your slides. You don't even have to read that well. As long as you can look at a map and check the colors, you can get those in and out really nice and easy. You know, very simple. And then, of course, your network diagnostics. Control for your mobile app, your home, where you can check all your tank fills. Just a nice, just a nice system to have in general. I like how the hallway is also up on the left. Usually they're up on the right, but you got central vac system right here. So you can suck in, you know, the dirt and whatnot. You just put your foot under there, sucks it all up. That's going to be your inverter switch, uh, your control. So that way, you know, you can, um, you know, run the refrigerator and stuff when you're driving down the road. And that's for that max air fan there as well. Give you a little sneak peek of the bedroom. Pretty fancy. But look at that right there. This bathroom is definitely not disappointing either. Love that hexagonal pattern. I like how it kind of goes up and down. You also have the splash proof countertops and they switched up the solid surface countertops in here. So the other one kind of had that wavy gray going through. This is just pure white and I like the way that it looks. You also have the accent lighting all up and around the mirror. Right here you got your old fantastic fan. And then you have you know, a shower that's big enough to fit two if you want, but you also got a little seat there if you want to shave your legs or just let the hot water hit you. Cause this fire, uh, this um, shower head is absolutely fancy. I'm still waiting on the day that I can use one of those. I just feel like that would just feel pretty darn good. Porcelain throne. So even if you're a round belly, uh, you're going to be very comfortable sitting on that, not worrying anything. And then two more of those little octopus guys. Couple cubbies. You're going to have four of those. But now, broom, drum roll, baby. Slide starts here into this bedroom. And look at this. I mean, this bedroom is absolutely fan flipping tastic. So you got a big old queen bed with storage underneath that's on a slide. I also like the way that the headboard looks. I just think that's such a neat design. Two windows that open up, USBs on both sides. You got a place over here for a washer and dryer. And oh, it's got a safety latch there. So you can put a washer and dryer in there or use it just as a hanging rack. A little bit of storage here up top, um, which you can, you know, I don't know what you're going to put up there, but you'll figure out something. And then right here, you got a little desk with a mirror, just pretty darn awesome. You could definitely hook up a laptop, you know, and work on the road. But I just love this front area so much. 
but you also have all this dresser space too that you can't ignore. So I mean, both of these open up to hanging closets. It's kind of one big open area. And then got six of these. And then one that's about half the size right on top. Emergency exit, pull, push and plop, get out in a hurry. But man, this is the one video that I hope my wife for sure does not watch because this is one that would cost me a lot of money. You have a view out the front. You still get, you know, the day and night shades up here. You got a cubby to the right, but what a great place just to lay down and either watch a movie on your TV, which is on a swivel, by the way, or just to read and chill. And you got a lake out there somewhere beautiful. I mean, that's just, that's dream camping for me. Three of these dresser drawers built in here too, which is awesome that they put this even in here to get the storage. Cause this is just, it's just so cool. Reminds me of that Riverstone 41 RL. If you like a good bedroom, you might want to check out that. But I'll tell you, that is quite a bit more expensive. Um, but heck, beautiful. I even like how this is, you know, arched right there. And then back there, what you saw was um, you basically can hook up, you know, your Wi-Fi. Call up AT&T, Verizon, and you do all that. But if you guys have made it this far, if you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button. Again, I try to put out an RV a day. Uh, between YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, you know, all that good stuff. So feel free to check that out. I'd love to have you. Different videos on different platforms. But again, this is the 2023 Cedar Creek 380RL. And now I'm going to go around the outside for just a couple minutes and show you what she's all about. But in case you miss it the first time around, all the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes will be down in the description of this video. You're going to get two slides over here on this side with one massive awning that goes over the top. You also have some propane uh, behind this door, six point hydraulic auto leveling with an LP quick connect. You also have heated and enclosed underbelly and it's got that sectioned off underbelly too so you can pull it off you know, in different panels. A little clip that goes right there but I wanna show you this absolutely massive pass through storage and it's got that beat me up, you know, kind of rough on me uh, flooring right down in there. And then of course, you get your little, you know, huck bolt type thing going on for the, for the frame. It's all aluminum. It's all buttoned up. It's looking good. You got your diagnostics over there. Back end of the central vac. Slam latch doors, so they're heavy. You also got metal right there, but you know you can, boom, forget about it. Outlet spray port if you want access to your water. And then this right here is actually you lift it up and flip it out, and you can put a grill or a griddle on top. And then you get an outdoor refrigerator uh, that will fit probably about a 30 pack of apple juice in that thing. No problemo. The stairs flip up into the doorway, frameless and tinted windows. You also get uh, West Lakes on your dual axle with the road armor suspension. And they each come with the uh, tire pressure monitoring system as well. If you're not familiar with that, it'll basically tell you when you're overinflated, underinflated, just to make sure that you are, you know, staying safe. You have a spare tire that's going to be located right under here. You can see it right there. Backup camera here in the back. So that's nice. Helps you when you're driving down the road, see what's going on behind you. You also have a hitch back here for extra storage. And then you have a black bar, uh, which is going to be a ladder prep. So you can get Lippert on the go ladder. It hooks into there and goes on top. So you can check your seals, check your slides, get on top of your fully walkable roof. And both of these slides are eligible for slide toppers as well which is a piece of awning that goes from here to here, prevents debris from falling on top. Here's going to be your sewer outlet connection. And then a little place right there where you can hold on to your uh, stinky slinky. You know, make sure everything stays in kind of one area. You don't want to get that rolling around your truck. Back end of the pass through storage where you'll see you got an easy reel cord reel. So you don't have to be lugging around that, uh, you know, big, long and heavy power cord. You also got all your galley tank valves, battery disconnect, hot and cold water in the form of an outside shower, bypass valves, and also a black tank flush, which is basically a sprinkler system for your poop tank. And your front cap lights are going to be right there as well. So anytime you see this little part, that is going to be for uh, your battery. So it'll have a little battery train there, and it looks like you got room for two if you would like to. The control for that hydraulic auto leveling. And then uh, you got the storage here up front. But all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. 
Again, this is the 2023 Cedar Creek 380 RL. My name is Hunter. Have a great day. See ya. Meow, 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 meow,